Shalom. My name is Raha Ernest, and we are looking into those scriptures that will make a huge difference in your life. And today we are looking into Hebrews 10 verse 4. This is what it says, For it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sins. This is an amazing scripture. You know the Jews for 1,500 years, they've been sacrificing these cows and goats at the temple for their sins to be taken away. Year after year, they did this. But there came Jesus. He gave his life for the sins of the world, for their sin. You know, old habits don't easily die. If you've done something for more than a thousand years, they just couldn't believe this is the end of the temple. This is the end of sacrifice. And now once for all, Hebrews 10.10, 10, this is what it says. By which we were sanctified through the offering of the body of Christ Jesus once for all. So it was one sacrifice for their whole life, for the whole world. So they couldn't believe they are no longer slaves to sin. They couldn't believe they are no longer servants of God, but rather sons of God. Now they can go before God as children of God, and they wouldn't believe that. And that's happening even in the world right now. There are a lot of people who would rather be slaves to God, who would rather be servants to God, but they do not know how to live as sons of God, as children of God who have been forgiven, who are righteous before Him, who have inheritance, co heir with Christ. Because, as it says here, it is impossible for the sins of the world or our sins to be washed away by the blood of bulls and gods. Same way you can say it is impossible for our sins to be washed away by our prayers or repentance or attending church or trying to do as much good charity work as possible. It is impossible for our sins to be washed away that way. When we go before God, it's going to be Jesus who is going to make a difference. You accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, accepting the sacrifice that Jesus did for you. So it's Hebrews 10 verse 4. That's the scripture for today.